Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're in Medieval Engineers to have a look at another quite interesting little invention. We've got a prototype of a cable car. Now this is something I've been working on or messing around with quite, for quite a lot of the time today. And we've actually got a really simple sort of pulley system that pulls this cable car back and forth down the tracks. Now you're probably wondering why would that be useful? Well, in the sort of logistical sense, if you wanted to bring your supplies, maybe you're under siege, maybe between two sort of outposts, maybe you've got an outpost on that hill over there that's looking out for barbarians, and you're under siege, you've got enemies all below at the bottom of your castle, you're not going to be able to transfer supplies, but using a cable car up in the air is going to make it much more safer. So like I said, this is going to be the prototype area, and we're going to have either a cabin on here, log up, up so all different sorts of different attachments we could have on this cable car, use it for different utility sort of needs. So let's actually have a look at the mechanics of this thing. Now one of the first things that I was a little bit worried about was the security. If a barbarian or someone down there got onto this cable car and then used it to get into my castle to actually attack me. So that's why I introduced this little lockout nut. So by activating this, it actually enables the lockout feature and will stop the rope drums from actually spinning. So let's disable that, unlock it so we can actually use this function. So the next thing we're going to do is actually grab ourselves a rope. Try grabbing that in third person if we can. And we're going to use it to pull it towards us. So as you can see in the shadow, the cable part is coming along and it's going to drop into shot at the top there. So let's actually move it back down. So this will come all the way up to here, but just for the demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show it up to this point. And let's try to get a hook on this in third person. There we go. There we go. And it goes back down like so. It's probably a little bit easier to show it from the down sort of perspective because you can see it coming down towards you. So I'm going to move over there and do that. Damn it, Aaron. You're getting damn confused. So as you can see, it comes down rather smoothly. If anyone's on that cable car, they'd be quite happy as it comes down and doesn't clatter to pieces, break apart, or just kill everyone inside. It would be quite scary if there was archers, though, firing upon you as you're driving across in your little cable car. But this is all working as well due to this belt drive sort of system. So the belt drive is actually feeding all the energy from this rotor that I'm turning at the bottom into this area that's then in turn releasing the ropes at the top. So it's quite a little interesting thing to have a mess around with. And if we go now back up to the top, we should see it in reverse function. So now we're actually back up at the top. I managed to get a better perspective so we can actually see this thing pulling up. And as it pulls up back to the top, we can unload whatever sort of supplies we actually need. So you can see the counterweight at the bottom and the car at the top itself. So just an interesting little function that I thought I would actually show you today. Something maybe you can actually build on, and develop further and turn it into something a little bit more useful at the moment. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of a cable car body to this and just see exactly how far I can get it. 